Hey everyone, welcome to Days with Danica. So today, my kids and I went to the Louisville Zoo and we had a blast, as always. This is our fourth year getting a zoo membership. And we just wanted to share why we think it's a benefit, what benefits we get out of going to the Louisville Zoo. And so we have six of our top reasons for getting a membership at the Louisville Zoo. I'm not sponsored by them or anything. This is just, hopefully it'll be helpful for other moms that are looking for things for their kids to do in the summer and all the way through the year that is fun and affordable. My husband's favorite part is that basically the membership itself pays for itself. Um, you get several packages that you get to choose from, so you can kind of pick a package that best suits your family. And um, we kind of calculated it out that if we purchased the most expensive package that they offered and on the first day took everyone and all the guests that it allows you to bring, that it would pay literally for itself for in their very first visit. Um, I mean, that's that's with all the benefits that come with it and everything. It would it would pay for itself in the first visit. So um, if that says anything, there's I don't want to go into a whole bunch of detail about each package and how much each package costs. I just want you to know that it's absolutely worth it. Um, we love that you get unlimited visits for twelve whole months. Twelve whole months. That's the winter time. That's spring. That's fall. That's summer. Summer. Oh my gosh. Summer is just amazing. Um, you get free parking, which is nice all in itself. You don't have to wait in the long lines. You literally get to have a card with your name on it and you just go right on up front. You show them your card. They scan it and you walk right in. That's amazing. Um, in June and July, and if you're a member, you actually get early access. Um, I believe it's at 9.30 in the morning. So it's not as crowded. You get to get in when it's not super, super hot, like in the summertime. Um, when it's overly hot, you know. And, and you can kind of get in, get out when all the crowds are starting to come in, which is nice. Um, a lot of the packages will allow you to bring a guest. And so the package that we get, we get to, I get to bring a guest, a friend, so I'm not going by myself. And most of the times I can even get their, their kids in on my pass as well. So I, I love that. And my kids love that. And we can bring different people. Um, you get, uh, if you, like if we were traveling out of town or anything, we actually get discounted rates on admission at other zoos like Nashville, Cincinnati, um, um, Columbus or I think yeah Columbus Ohio um, you get if you're at the zoo you know my kids always are like I want that oh I want this so you get discounts on the souvenirs themselves um, they also have carousel rides train rides that you get discounts on if you don't if it's not already part of your package you get a discount on those items as well and um, one of the really cool things is they offer combined memberships with the Louisville Science Center. So, our top five reasons are um, the food options. If you are a mom that wants to do something fun and you want to save money, the Louisville Zoo will allow you to bring your own food in, and um, that's food and snacks and drinks from outside. So that in itself is really nice because we save a lot of money by doing that um, because it's something fun to do and I don't have to pay for food every time I go in. But they also offer restaurants. They have several different restaurants throughout the park. The prices are pretty reasonable. The food is actually pretty darn good. We actually choose to eat at the zoo sometimes and not bring our own lunch. Um, and they offer like souvenir cups that you can get refilled. Um, there's, I think it's like 99 cents or something to refill your cup and you can bring it back every single time you come, which is really nice. And that's on the slushies and regular drinks, which is really, really nice. Um, if at the restaurants, they offer burgers, fries, pizzas. Um, sandwiches, you know, chips and different things like that. 
And then throughout the parks, they have these little snack stations, that's what we call them, um, that offer drinks, pretzels, popcorn, cookies, um, ice cream, all kinds of different yummy little things to eat on. They have the most amazing splash park and cute little play areas throughout their zoo. Um, the splash park is a like a nautical themed splash park. They have lifeguards that are on duty almost all the time. Um, it's open during the zoo hours, which is really, really good. Um, and then also in June and July, they have special hours for, um, I think they call it um, members only mornings where you get to go in at 9.30 a.m., which, once again, it's not crowded, it's not too crazy hot, but it's warm enough, for, obviously, for the kids to get in and splash around and whatnot. Um, so that's really, really nice. And they do have, like, a seated, like, a shaded seated area for, you know, if it's a grandparent that's coming to the zoo with their um, grandchild so you don't get too overheated. And you can sit and bring and eat your food, and you can bring your own food in there as well. Um, and they have like restaurants right around the area and a play area as well. Um, don't mind me. <laughs> we had a little munchkin that woke up. <laughs> so I wanted to, we were talking about splash parks and um, the play areas. Um, the splash park I believe opens Memorial Day weekend. Um, so it's usually very, very busy. <laughs> so you can imagine. A lot of parents try to find stuff for their kids to do. So. Um, we usually don't go during that time, <laughs> which is a benefit of being a member. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to make sure baby is, is happy and quiet. <laughs> baby, oh, I'm sorry. No bad mommy. Um, so, just, it's, it's probably my kid's favorite part, and honestly mine too. I love it because it's safe, you know, it's in a secure area. Um, I'm not just at some random park somewhere, so... I, I do like that I feel protected, you know, at the zoo and, and being able to take them somewhere to play and and have a good time. So, yeah. So, our top three reasons, or third reason, yeah. <laughs> our third reason for families getting a membership would be they have camps and classes. Now I'm going to be honest, my kids are a little too small and we haven't really done taking advantage of the camps or the classes, but I've had some friends that have and they say that they're awesome. I know that they have um, like spring break camps, they have summer camps, they have night safaris. That is probably one thing that I think I would love for my kids to be able to participate in, you know, because I believe parents get to participate as well, obviously. Um, and then like for their different, they have di tons of different classes or whatever, but one of them was like the MetaZoo um, Discovery Center, there's, there's so much, I don't know a ton about the classes, but if you're, if you're interested in that kind of thing. Um, the number two reason you should get a membership is special events, they have tons of special events. You can host your kid's birthday party, I mean. Come on, have a birthday party at the zoo, like how, how cool is that? You can, they have um, the Halloween's largest, world's largest Halloween party where you get to dress up and there's different characters throughout the park and they set up all these big elaborate exhibits for the kids and they hand out candy and they get to see the animals and it's in a safe environment, like I said, I'm all about the safe. Um, and so I really like that too. And they do this thing, my son likes, it's called the Nature Connect, something about Nature Connect. Well, basically, it's elaborate Lego sculptures all through the park that um, are, like, sculptures of the animals, like the flowers and animals, butterflies, and they're amazing. They're so beautiful, and it's thousands and thousands and thousands of Legos and most kids just love Legos and they love the creativity and building so to see what you can do with Legos is pretty awesome so that is our number two
And of course, our number one reason for going is the animals. Hello. My kids absolutely love to see the animals. At every stop, there's information about the animal that you're, that you're observing. Um, so you can read that information and the kids get to learn about that animal. And we do that often. I don't do it every single time I go, but I do it often. Um, my kids' favorite animals are the lion, the zebras, the elephants. Um, they really like to go into the meta zoo and the bird and the bird areas um, and see those too. And um, I love the gorilla section. I think that it's it's just really cool to see these huge gorillas um, and my little bitty kids just you know sitting down sitting by them and there, it's a lot of information about them there as well. And, um, <coughs> Are you okay? Are you okay? Alright. Anyways. Um, um, what else? Butterfly exhibit is really cool. There's an opportunity to ride on a camel. Mom and kids can ride the camel or the kids if they're old enough and big enough can ride the camel by themselves. And um, what else is it? Petting zoo. I'm kind of a picky mom, and I don't really like my kids to pet the animals, but they can go in and look at them, but not everybody's like that. I mean, kids need to get dirty and all that good stuff, but my daughter puts her hands in her mouth, so I'll be playing that. So, but anyways, petting zoo. So what an amazing way to support animals that are endangered or, um, you know, yeah, so... There are your top six reasons of why, I know I gave a lot of information and there's probably way more than six reasons, but a um, great way to have some fun and to save some money and to enjoy family time. So, I hope that this information was helpful to any, anybody out there looking for some fun things to do for the summer um, or just for year round for your family that want to do something that's fun and affordable. So, thank you so much for tuning in to Days with Danica. And um, follow me, subscribe to my channel. I am new to YouTube, but I do hope to share a whole lot more about... Okay, she's telling me it's time to go. But yes, family life. I'm a stay-at-home mom, all that good stuff. So, subscribe. Follow me on Facebook. All that good stuff. I don't even know. I haven't got a Facebook yet. But I do have Instagram. I'll link all that information below. So, see you.